Hello everyone, my name is Jace and welcome back to a new episode of Minecraft. We are here, we are on episode 12 and today, uh, well first off you can see maybe a couple things have changed in here. We put our inner chest down, uh, we got our to-do list here and we've done a little bit on it. We've checked off some things, I just got rid of them and moved it around now. We got uh, some new things on here but you know buddy you're distracting me every time you bark. While I'm talking it's kind of hard to continue thinking about you know what I was saying so if you could possibly if you could possibly yeah you know not do that while I'm trying to talk that'd be just okay if not you know if not we're gonna have to move you we're gonna have to put you in your own place okay as I was saying find more ancient debris we need to do that uh, make an iron farm we'll get to that make a village of breeder when we get to that get a beacon we're going to do that this episode. That's the objective. Um, anything else on here? Then I'm going to... Nothing. So that's the to-do list. But the first thing I want to start by showing you guys is actually in the nether. So we need to go ahead and head to the gold farm that we made last episode. Which is conveniently right by the portal. Uh, so now I added a storage area so that the... Uh, the pigments they fall they die onto the hoppers their drops let me turn down hostile creatures even more is the gas not a hostile creature you know maybe not i don't know the gas are loud but um uh, the the drops they come down into the hoppers they get fed into these and then we have a item it's a normal old item filter thing here uh the the comparators they detect the signal strength of these hoppers and uh, we got some just you can use any old items in here to filter out and they'll put in out put out a certain signal strength and then you put in the item you want to filter in the last slot and it works its redstone magicry and winds up going down to 41 items and then it'll filter that item for everything below. So we got all of those filled up with gold ingots. And then the, the only other thing that's going to be dropped is rotten flesh. And it's going to go into this automatic sensor thingy that's going to burn them and drop them into lava. As you can hear. But I don't have much gold in here right now because I actually crafted all the gold that was in here. I used it for maybe a couple hours and uh, crafted all the gold that was in there into some blocks and that is back at the base so i'll go back there and let you see everything all right so here is the spoils of the first afk session it was probably like maybe two hours uh, at most uh, definitely more than one hour though uh and this is two over two and a half stacks of gold i had a few gold blocks already there so not everything was from the uh, afk but this is going to be enough to actually build a fully uh, max leveled beacon for just one beacon, but a full, fully leveled one. So that's the objective for today. We're going to be uh, hunting down some wither skeletons and getting some more of these. I put put it up on the wall so I wouldn't forget about it, but there that is. So we need two more of those and then we can head to the end actually and we're going to fight the wither in the end. I've I fought the wither regularly before on this channel and on a, a few other videos and I did it the normal regular way so uh, I'm just gonna do it the cheese way and the the way that I see is the way that needs to be done prop the way that you should do it because it's easier and why not make things easier when you can especially a fight for the wither um, but we have all this gold now so that's gonna be enough for the pyramid let me put that back I actually have so it, last episode, we cured the zombie villager baby, Gary, um, and I moved him. Uh, if you see way over there, we have a little brick building. All right, so I made a little temporary brick breeding hall thing uh, for some villagers. And we put Gary and the original villager in here and gave him some food. And they started breeding, so we got two more. Uh, if I gave them some more food, I'm sure they would uh, add another villager because we have five beds in here and we only have four actual villagers or maybe I haven't stayed around the area long enough for them to do it but anyways this is pretty much how you set up a villager breeder if you don't want it to be automatic and non-stop uh, all you have to do is get villagers at least two and then put beds in a room and the more the the amount of beds you have is the amount of babies they'll try to have there might be a max on it hello Gary 
Uh, Gary's a Mason. There may be a Max on him, but I'm not sure. But Gary's a Mason, and I'm going to keep him as a Mason because, as you can see, this building is brick. This building is brick, and I want to make a village here or a city more or less it'd probably be more accurate to call it a a town maybe because a, a village is smaller than what it will be probably but a city is probably bigger than what it would be anyways we're gonna make a brick town and uh so getting bricks is tedious this took a long time to get all the clay and whatnot so having a mason will be useful we got gary and then we have our original guy for the mending but uh, we're not going to do anything with these guys just yet. But we have villagers now. And we have a way to get more villagers. Uh, if we wanted to, we could just take these guys further enough away. If we had five of them in here and they weren't breeding anymore. We could take the adults f far enough away and they'd start breeding again. But uh, that's not going to be what we're doing today. Like I said, we're going to be fighting the wither. But that's going to be the way to the future iron farms. We're going to need villagers for that. But uh, I'm going to make my way to uh, the end, not the end, the nether. We're going to go to the nether fortress and I'm going to start trying to find some wither skeletons. Actually, before we do that, I do not have looting yet on this sword. I've combined a couple swords together and gotten this enchant enchantment list as of right now. But we don't have looting yet and that's going to be a lot, a lot better to use against these wither skeletons trying to get the skulls. So I went to the XP farm earlier and try, I got some XP and fixed up my tools and whatnot with the mending. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and disenchant this random knockback sword and try to get looting three on it. Uh, and we're not going to enchant, we're not going to enchant it until we get looting three. Until I see looting three there. So I'm just going to enchant it with a level one and just keep cycling its enchantments until I get looting three. That was very quick. I did not expect... Did not expect it to be that fast. And it was just looting through. That's fine. Uh, we can throw this on with an anvil. I think the anvil is actually at the XP farm. So now I will see you guys uh, at the nether fortress, which is actually also the XP farm. All right. So we're here in the fortress and the the, the blaze farm. Uh, they're pretty loud. So let's try to ignore them. But we got our anvil here because I was using it earlier. So we need to put looting not that way. That seems to be too expensive. 35 or 15 let's do 15. all right so now we got looting three on here got a pretty good sword the only thing we're missing now is mending and sharpness four so i could probably get a mending book and a sharpness four book some way or another and combine those two and then put it on the sword and then our sword would be finished and then we could upgrade it to netherite and then it'd really be good wouldn't have to worry about a sword anymore but we need to try to find some uh some of those skeleton boys but first let me put my mending or my protection chest plate on i don't really need the elytra right now still no sign of any skeletons i haven't even heard one where are you i know you're here glowstone i should get that i barely have any glowstone and i should use it more it's very beautiful a pretty block if i do say so myself which i do man those skeletons Oh, there's some. Let's shoot the blazes. Oh, no, don't shoot me, blazes. Ah, you shot at me. And now you should die for your crimes again. Uh, don't hit the piggies. You know, you're making this a lot more... You're making this difficult. Ah! All right, follow me. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Skull. Nope. I have epic maneuvers. You can't. Oh, I'm gonna die. All right, let's let's fight you. The skull. All right, three of them. We should definitely bound to get a skull percentages and ratios and stuff. If I learned anything in school, we okay. I need to shoot the blaze. This is you're the only person that's causing me any trouble right now. I want your head. There's so many. How did like ten spawn all at once? Ah, uh, calm down. Head? Nope. All right. Well, that's like 17 I just killed. Maybe 20. Uh, hey, man. There's a, there's a lot right here. Ah. Nothing. This might take longer than I thought. Ready to die? Give me your head. No. Very well. Any more? I kind of forgot what I was doing for a second. Oh, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If this blaze spawner is close enough, we may be able to make a double blaze spawner farm. It would need to figure out exactly how many blocks away these two are. And if I stood directly, perfectly in the perfect vicinity, I'd be able to use them. I saw that both at the same time, but, uh, that may not work out. So I get, I get, I'll figure that out another time. Skeleton, skeleton, I hear a skeleton. Where is he? He's got to die. I want your head. I need it, friend. I can't rhyme. Where are you, skeleton? Hello. Ow. Die, die, die. Thank you. Go ahead. Come on. I hear another. Oh, two more. One of you have to drop that. Nope. I know you. I know you want to. Right? Nope. Awesome. I'll have tons of coal at the end of this. At least. Actually, maybe not. I only have 15. Oh, man. My hello. Hello, friends. Let me come around to you. Don't don't wait. Just wait. hold on. Let us duel. Ah. Uh, I wish the, uh, you should, it'd be cool if you could make the lucky potion. I think that's a thing. Oh, he fell. You alive? Give me your magma creams. Oh. I heard your bones rattling, but I didn't realize you were so close. I need a skull, man. Give me your freaking skull. Rip it off your body. Nothing. Oh. Maybe if I hit him in the head, it'll... Oh, okay. All right. Give me two skulls, both of you. Nothing. And... <gasps> Yay! One out of two. We only need one more. And then we'll be able to fight the wither. And I think I have a, <laughs> I got a hunch, guys. I think that guy is going to be the one. I got some dream style luck, if you know what I'm saying. Nope, I was just kidding. I guess not. Hello, sir. You're my next victim. How can I acquire you? Ah, how do you hit me so far away? Look at that beautiful farm. No skull. Two of them down here, bound to be dead sooner or later. And I'm on fire. Skull? Wait, I think I, I think I might have. I thought I thought I might have thought a skull for a second. Leave me alone. Don't shoot me. Ah, you guys are sneaky, but but also very loud at the same time. Okay, calm down. We're getting we're getting a little antsy. Give me your skull. Give me your skull. Give me your skull. No. All right, still one more. One more we need. One more we don't have. Let's go back to where we saw fifteen of them spawn in unison. Um, maybe now with our newfound luck, after we have one, we might have a better chance of getting another. Let's go back. I think these crossroad things, like where we spawned in, that crossroad just happened to be surrounded by netherrack, but usually they're out in the air like this. But down here, those crossroads have the highest uh, highest percent chances of spawning mobs in general, I think, at these uh, fortresses. So I think staying around here will be our best chances of getting the most spawns. Hello, foes, enemies, evil wrongdoers. I've come to vanquish you. And in return, you give me your skulls. But you are not good people. Come here, other people. All right, three of them. Percentage chances and just odds of probability and outcome. I'm bound to... This is this is it, guys. I mean, this last guy right here, he has to give me a skull. I think. And imagine if I needed to get three instead of just two. 
Good thing I got that random one that one day. Ah, three of them. Skull. Yes, 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 finally. Oh, what? Wait a second. There's the probability. Wait, no, wait. Okay, I'm confused. Did I see two skulls drop or did I see one? Okay, somehow I, I, I'm, I, I may be crazy, but it looked like two dropped from each of those skulls. But nonetheless, we have what we came for. Um, I'm kind of lost. Let me try to figure out where I am. Pretty sure if I go this way through all these bad guys. Okay, that blaze just dipped out of existence. I didn't feel like being here. Alright. Maybe we can get another skull on the way out. Nope, not from him. Okay, let me get out of here. I am just tanking so much damage. Oh, I got another one. Aha! This was worth it. Four. Now we have four in total. Didn't even... See, I was talking earlier about all this. Oh, what if I needed three this time? Oh, it would take so long. Clearly, it wouldn't. Alrighty, we have everything we need. Our three skeleton skulls. We'll leave that one on the trophy wall, I suppose. We can we can just leave them up there and just say that that's the, the wither skull. Because I don't think he actually... Well, I know for a fact. I don't not think. I know he does drop his skull. It'd be cool if he did, though. But uh, we're going to head to the inn. Like I said, we're going to fight him in the inn. Uh, so I'll see you guys once we make it through the inn portal. All right. Wait. What is this? Mysterious, unknown, unbeknownst to me tunnel. Oh, hello. Random, mysterious, long tunnel that I surely didn't dig. Of course not. What is up here? Something in the distance I see. Blocks, of course. Those are probably just random blocks that are just there. and Definitely didn't do this recently or any anything. Um, I'm cut to the point. This is, you know, this is where we're going to be fighting the wither from now on forever. This is, this is it. This is all you got to do. You uh, come to your end portal gateway thing, uh, your main portal back home, and uh, you dig out some blocks underneath it. And pretty much what you're doing is you're trapping the wither. Need another piece of soul sand, I see. Let me go grab it. I wish I had a creeper farm so I could fly up around. Okay, so I have the soul sand. All right. Now the three wither skeleton skulls, we just put them on here and he'll spawn in. He's going to get stuck in the, the bedrock, so he's not going to be able to blow anything up or do any damage, but we will be able to damage him. You could make it easier by uh, putting a beacon down with strength or using strength potions, using a smite sword because he's technically undead. Things like that you could do to make it quicker and easier, I guess, but as for the most part, this is pretty much how every fastest way to kill the wither is going to be going to be done but so we're going to go ahead and start this epic wither fight uh oh i'm starting now nah, he, yeah he's stuck i think we'll see let me back up so he's ah, very loud explosions <laughs> let's turn that down yeah he's stuck see very simple we got a little wither killing room now permanent and eternal so we can stay here forever and just kill the withers. Eventually, we'll probably need to set up a wither skeleton farm if we want to use this a lot. Because it took far too long to do that for the wither skeleton skulls. But that easily, we now have a nether star. Thank you. Got the achievement. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. I forget that this doesn't have an achievement. It's an odd thing to not have an achievement for. But I suppose spawning the wither in has an achievement with it. So, yeah, it does. All right, let's dig out of here because I didn't think about installing an exit in this room. Oversight. But now we can go back to the overworld and build ourselves a pound with some glaze. Let me fix that. And some obsidian. Pretty sure that's it. Glass, nether star. That's obsidian. Glass, beacon. All right, so now we have the beacon itself. Come get our gold. That's the whole point of making the gold farm last episode was for this purpose. Now I'm going to come and probably try to place it somewhere that 
is strategic in the sense that it's going to make it's going to cover the most area i am just going to be using it for haste to as of right now because i need to flatten and convert the rest of this island from mycelium to grass it's a uh, long overdue it's been putting off a lot of stuff that i want to do because i can't i can't like you know build parts of the base if land itself that it's going to be going on isn't how it needs to be it's like this mountain's got to go um all of this is going to be more or less the same level connecting over to the rest of the island that may stay it may not stay it, it really, really isn't in the way necessarily but it, it would be kind of sticking out and this is going to be a lot flatter as well so anyways where would be a good spot for said beacon i'll put it right here because it's flat enough to fit the whole thing and I don't feel like digging out an area. So we need a 9x9. Nine 1, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The bottom layer. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 7x7 seven seven on top of the 9x9. Nine 7x7 nine. Seven seven on top of this. And it's starting to look like I don't think I'm going to have enough gold maybe. No. Three by three or not seven by seven five by five i have enough gold and then our beacon on the very top and this should oh, beaconator bring home the bacon beacon we have a full powered beacon um so we can put haste two in there let me get some gold nuggets ingots it's a pretty cool noise pretty cool if so it's almost oh haste two all right now we're enchanted ourselves now we can break pretty much everything instantly uh if we come over here to the dirt we were able to do this before uh, so this isn't new but uh now we can well that's kind of anticlimactic i actually don't have efficiency five on any pickaxe yet i forgot about that but um now we have the ability to at least whenever we do get efficiency five to instantly break these blocks and efficiency five isn't necessarily something that's going to be too hard to get i think that's going to do it for today's episode you know we got the beacon we fought the wither that's an epic achievement in of itself we fought a boss of minecraft you know we've uh we've done a lot in the past couple episodes and uh in between episodes so in between this episode and the next episode depending on how i'm feeling about it i may wind up doing something with those villagers and an iron farm uh before i do what i'm about to say but uh nonetheless i'm gonna be converting all this to grass uh i'm not gonna make an episode about that i may put like a time lapse uh in an episode showing all the footage and stuff because it may look cool uh seeing everything turn into grass i'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna be a big long process it may be something that i live stream if you want to see me live streaming ever i uh i'm gonna be live streaming try to be live streaming on saturdays and sundays so you can uh, Saturday nights and probably Sunday in, towards the middle of the day around lunchtime or something. You will ever just stop by my YouTube channel and see if I'm live. Just stop by and see if it's something you might want to watch. But uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next one. We have sheep now.